Here are the common ways how you can assign a document on your iPad and send it to others using email. There are multiple options, so let's begin with it. The first one is markup. This is the best way to go about it, in my opinion. Although there are other options besides this, I think this is going to be the most useful one. So I assume that most people either use the built-in Apple Mail with the blue icon or Gmail from Google. I mean, other mail clients are good as well, and the principle will be very similar and almost the same for them. So the Apple Mail, let's start with this one, and let's take this scenario. You receive an email and there's an attachment. It's usually a PDF file. This is just an example, so it's just a random email I received. So you click on the file and you can see the entire attachment on full screen. And you want to draw a signature somewhere at the bottom or wherever it's necessary. And in the upper right corner, you can see the pen or pencil icon. It's a markup feature and immediately after clicking it, it gives you the option to write on the document. So you can pick from different pens and styles and colors. But for a regular signature, you'll probably go with this one and for color, probably completely black or something like this deep blue one. And you use your finger to write your signature. You may also use the Apple Pencil. In fact, it would be better looking because you have more precision with the pencil. But what do you do with the signed email? Again, multiple possibilities here. You can click the share button and save it to files or use any other third-party file browser notes app or pretty much any other app that allows you to somehow store the document. But what I think is a better way to go about it would be clicking the done button in the left corner. This allows you to reply all, which means that all people involved in the email will receive a reply from you with the same file, including the signature you just added or create a new message. In case that you don't want to send the signed email back to the same person, you can share as an attachment with someone else. And of course, in a completely new message. So that's also an option. Or just save it to the files. It's the same thing as if you clicked the share icon, but it's simpler and easier to find. Or just discard any changes you've made and come back to the email conversation. The next thing is the Gmail. It's really similar with, uh, with this one with the Gmail, with the difference that there are less options and as expected, it doesn't work the same as the stock Apple apps. It's not a deal breaker though. The process is almost identical. You click the pen icon again and assign wherever you need. But when clicking the done button, you're presented with significantly less options. You can't reply right away or start a new message that would include the newly created document. You can only save it to files and then later, when sending a new email, attach the document from files. So you need to make one more step. But the share icon on the right does exactly the same compared to Apple's mail. So these were the easiest and most convenient options. But you can grab a third-party app to help you out as well. An example would be from Adobe Code Fill and Sign. It's an app that performs similar features, but it does it as a separate entity, not signing anything within a mail application, but all alone here in this one. You can import the documents in multiple and various ways. You can scan it using your iPad's camera, bring it from files, web URL, web search, email attachment, and camera roll. It's a much more advanced app because it not only allows you to mark up documents, you can fill out forms with it. You can add checks to certain fields, add text, sign it, share it. Well, there is a lot of what you can do with it. It's also not the only app you can find that does this, but I find this one to be pretty reliable. And it's from Adobe, so we can expect some degree of quality here. This type of app is not, of course, for everyone. If you need a quick and simple signature here and there, you're not going to find this very useful, and the markup is probably going to be the better one. However, for some people out there, the methods described earlier are simply not enough and need to settle for a more professional and permanent solution for signing emails on iPad. You can try an app called DocuSign, which takes a pro approach to the whole problem. It allows you to even request signatures from others and receive them as a verification tool. Of course, 
you'll perhaps need to pay for it depending on how you need to use it but like i say this app is made for people that work with documents and assign them on a daily or regular basis and therefore need more advanced tools it also allows you to set up sample signatures so you don't need to worry about being perfect every time you just sign once and then copy and paste it consider this to be a pro tool for signing online documents if you need more information definitely try looking at their website of this or other similar products i'm not like sponsored by them or anything it's just an app that i found and i believe that there are other like this one in case you also want to add signature to the notes app check out this video right here on the screen and goodbye